Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into Unreal Engine 5 game development or just love free stuff, you're in the right place. Every single month, Epic Games gives away six incredible free asset packs on Fab, three in the first half of the month, and then three more in the second half. And guess what? Today, we're diving into the three free asset packs for the second half of February 2025. There's quite a bit of exciting stuff this second half of the month, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Whether you're building the next big indie game, creating cinematic masterpieces, or just experimenting in an Unreal Engine 5 project, these free assets are an absolute game changer for you. Speaking of Unreal Engine 5, if you ever dreamed of creating your own game, I've got something special for you. My Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course will teach you everything you need to know, giving you a step-by-step -step guidance to build a fully functional multiplayer ready game from scratch. Whether you're a beginner or advanced user looking to level up your skills, this course will equip you with the knowledge, tools, and confidence to bring your vision to life. So what are you guys waiting for? Let's dive right in and don't forget to check out the course link in the description to start your game development journey today. All right, so here we are in the very first asset pack. This one is called the Valley of Goldor, I think is how you pronounce it. But basically, this is like a Dark Souls or Souls-like game environment. So it's got this sort of dark cloudy theme. So you can see this is like the bridge over here. So as you can see, this bridge goes to this castle. So we'll check that out in a second. But it's pretty neat. You guys can check the pathway sort of start over here. Now, all the assets in here aren't super, you know, nanite detailed, but they are game ready assets. So you can use them in your games without worrying too much about, you know, optimization. So, yeah, you can see some of the props over here, like the castle walls have these spikes. Okay, inside we have stuff like these little fires lit throughout the castle. You can even see things like the skeleton remains. But yeah, this is actually a pretty dark environment. So we might pop into the unlit mode to kind of give you guys an idea of what the environment looks like. So you can see it's very dark, but that's just how the lighting is designed, I guess, for the level. So yeah, here is like the courtyard area. You can see there's just more areas for the player to explore uh, in this little ruins, this castle ruins. So yeah, just a pretty interesting little map there. There isn't a whole lot behind this part of the area. So you can see sort of the playable area is restricted to that section. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire map. Let's check out the asset showcase. Okay, so here are all the assets in the showcase level. So as you can see, everything in that level is made up of these modular pieces. So you can see these are some of the different skull pieces, you know, the bones, which I've got to say are pretty well detailed in and of themselves. So here are the different chain pieces and some of the castle ruins. What I like about this is it's not just a straight, you know, mesh piece. You can see there's some breakup in the wall which is very nice. So yeah, these are just some of the other different props, some more wall pieces, staircases, and more types of ruins. And then in the back, we didn't really get to see the trees because of the way that the scene was lit. So here you guys get a good idea of what the trees look like. Again, they're not super, you know, nanite detailed, but I think they're pretty well game optimized. All right, so next up we have this post-apocalyptic urban city pack. So basically this is sort of like a zombie apocalypse, a broken down ruined city. So you can see the street here has sort of these pieces. So the road is all damaged. And the neat thing about this is it has a little interior area. So we'll check that out here in a second. But as you can see, this is sort of where the place is fenced off. And then even the buildings you can see off in the distance, which adds a nice touch. So yeah, in here, this is the interior so there are certain buildings that you can enter in, and this one is, you know, has all the windows broken out. So we can enter in here and have, you know, this player, this area that the player can explore. Kind of goes into this, kind of looks like the subway station, but yeah, just look how detailed everything is in this environment. You can see stuff like the reflections on the puddle there. Love all the signage, all the lights. Pretty impressive, honestly, the environment that they created. But yeah, you can have like some sort of zombie game in this setting. And other part of the building in here. Love all the vents as well. Those add lots of details. I think this is just the elevator. So that's just the elevator room. Let's go back over here. So if we go back over to this section. And let's go back this way. Looks like that's pretty much the end. So that's all that the building has to entail. It's not a huge playable area, but then over here, I think this, the road ends. 
So that's pretty much this daytime map. There is a version of this at nighttime. So I'll go ahead and show you that. But the overall playable area, as you can see, is not that huge. So it's kind of like a simple map. So the other map that they include in here is the nighttime version of this. So as you can see, it's basically just the same exact map, but relit during nighttime. So I don't know, you guys can tell me which one you like more, the daytime map or the nighttime, but pretty much the only difference is, you know, this outdoor part. So yeah, you guys can check that out. Let me know down in the comments. And of course, let's check out the asset overview. So these are all the assets that come included, which there's quite a bit of assets if you ask me. We'll start over here, you can see stuff like the tire pieces, different pipes, you know, rubble pieces. And then over here, some more fences, a little refrigerator, generator stuff, table. Okay, some of the vents and wire pieces, couch, some different trash bags, stuff like that. These are like the road pieces that are broken up. And then in the back here, you can see some of the building modular pieces, like the walls, the ceilings, door pieces, all that stuff. And the neat thing about this is it comes with these big city buildings or these modular building pieces. So it's pretty nice that they included this in here. They're not like super detailed, but you know, I think these will do pretty well for any type of game that you're creating. So yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think about these assets down in the comments down below. You can make some sort of, you know, Last of Us themed game with this. Some sort of post-apocalyptic or zombie apocalypse setting. Okay, the last asset pack is called Ninja Input. Basically, this is sort of like a plugin that enhances the enhanced input system inside of Unreal Engine. I don't really have any footage of this, so I'm just going to show the YouTube video from their official channel. Uh, showing them how they implemented other different input actions. Uh, basically, it provides input handlers out of the box, which can be connected to your input actions and perform common tasks like move, look, jump, or crouch. And it also can be integrated with the gameplay ability system, providing input handlers for all common gas-related activation and cancellation logic. So yeah, if you guys are interested, you guys can check it out link in the description. They have, you know, a full official documentation as well as a YouTube playlist about this plugin. Unfortunately, I couldn't find like a demo to actually showcase it. So that's why I'm just showing the YouTube video. But yeah, that's pretty much all the free assets that we get for this month, the month of February, or at least the second half. Let me know what you guys think about all the assets that we got this month down in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.